Hello everybody, and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. This is another episode of First Appearances of the Week. This is Wednesday, April 6, 2022. We'll be giving you all the first appearances in your comic shops today. Now this week we have a pretty big video for you guys. I think the biggest one in the last few months. We have 16 titles in all to go through, 7 first appearances, 9 honorable mentions, definitely some books in there you want to add to your collection. So let's go ahead and get started for the first appearances of the week, week ending April 8, 2022. First up from DC Comics, Batman Beyond Neo Year Number 1. This features the first appearance of Holographic Man, the Sword of Gotham. This also features the origin of Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis. Now, Terry McGinnis, fan favorite character. The origin of Batman Beyond in this particular issue is probably worth picking up this book at the cover price. But this also features the first appearance of a new character, Holographic Man. This is one we do think is probably worth picking up and adding to your collection due to the fact that there is a first appearance and the origin of Batman Beyond. Go ahead and grab this one here if you can. If you can't, put it on your B list, but definitely consider this one. Next up from DC Comics, Earth Prime number one. This features the first appearance of Ryan Wilder as Batwoman. Ryan Wilder previously appeared in Batgirl number 50, but not in costume. Now, once again, this is one we do think is probably worth picking up because this features a new character, Ryan Wilder as Batwoman, and this is the first time Ryan Wilder appeared in the Batwoman costume. So this is one that's probably worth picking up. The Batwoman title is not necessarily the most heavily collected or the most popular of the DC titles, but the fact that this is a new Batwoman, and you know DC is making some streaming series and feature films, you really don't know which iteration of Batwoman they will ever bring to the small screen or big screen. It might be one of these more contemporary versions. So this one here is probably worth picking up the spec on. Grab this one if you can. If you can't, put it on your B list. Keep an eye on it. Next up from DC Comics, Batman number 122. This features the first full appearance of Angel Breaker. Now this is the Batman title series. Batman and Detective Comics title series are the two most popular Batman title series from DC Comics, and this is the first full appearance of a new character in the Batman series. So that alone might be worth considering picking this one here up for your collection, but it really all depends on what DC does with this new character, Angel Breaker. You know, if DC brings this character to the small screen or big screen, it's definitely going to put a lot more eyes on it, make it more popular, and everybody's going to run back and get the first full appearance. But if this character really doesn't go anywhere and just stays in this particular title series and finishes the story arc and disappears, this character really won't be that important going forward. So this one here is going to be a little bit more of a speculative bet. Pick it up if you can at the cover price. If not, put it on your B list, but keep an eye on it. You may have a little time on this one. Next up from Marvel Comics, Spider-Punk number one. Now this is the first solo titled Spider-Punk limited series. This also features the first appearance of Riot Heart, Earth 138's version of Ironheart, and also the first cameo appearance of Taskmaster, a Misfits-inspired antagonist. Now this issue is the premiere issue of the Spider-Punk series. We always say pick up any of these premiere issues of Marvel titles, and this also features a first appearance of a couple characters. This one here we definitely think is worth picking up and adding to your collection. This is a Spider-Man title, a Marvel title, and features some first appearances. This one here is worth adding to your collection. Next up from Marvel Comics, Deadpool Bad Blood number one. This features the first appearance of Thumper in a standard comic book. This is a reprint from a 2017 graphic novel. Now, Deadpool is a fan favorite character. Anytime there's a first appearance in a Deadpool title, it's probably worth picking up and adding to your collection, but it really depends on what Marvel Disney does with this Thumper character. If they bring this character into a small screen or big screen project, this is going to be a big deal. Everybody's going to race back to try to get the first appearance in the comics. But if this character goes nowhere, doesn't make it to small screen or big screen, it might not be that big of a deal. So this is a little bit more of a speculative bet, but it is the first appearance of a character in a Deadpool title and a Marvel title, so we still think this is worth picking up for your collection. Next up from Marvel Comics, Moon Knight number 10. This features the first full appearance of Rutherford Winner, an accomplished ex-Hydra assassin terrorist previously appeared in a trade paperback release of a Daughters of the Dragon digital exclusive. Now, given the popularity of the Moon Knight streaming series, we think you should probably pick up any first appearance of new characters in the Moon Knight titles. You know, Marvel, Disney are definitely going to push this title, especially if it's popular in the streaming series. You can expect this character to end up on the big screen, and you really don't know what Marvel has planned for this new Rutherford Winner character that they're introducing in this issue. So we do think this one here is worth picking up and adding to your collection. And finally, for Marvel Comics, X-Force number 27. This features the first appearance of Cyberax a sentient and murderous offshoot of the Cerebro technology. Now, X-Force is not necessarily one of the most heavily collected or popular Marvel title series, and this is the first appearance of Cerebrax in this title series. It really depends on what Marvel Disney does with this character. If they break this character off, push it into other title series or small screen or big screen projects, it'll definitely be more important. But this one here is one we think you'll probably keep an eye on for now. Put this one on your B-list, take a look at it later on. And now for the honorable mentions from Boom Comics. Alice Ever After number one. 
This is a five-issue limited series that revisits the Alice in Wonderland story in a dark, adult-themed sequel. This is one we definitely think is worth picking up the spec on. You know, these darker adult-themed versions of children's fairy tales. Very popular with collectors and very popular with movie studios as well. They are often optioned and picked up for small screen and big screen projects. So we think this one here is definitely worth picking up the spec on. Next up from Bad Idea, Bunsen Beaver and his Pal Tree Number 1. Now this is published by Bad Idea under the pseudonym Bad Idea Donuts. This is available at the South Carolina Comic Con on April 8th through 9th by purchasing a donut from the Bad Ideas Donuts pop-up store at the Comic Con. This is definitely going to be a limited release and it is a limited distribution. We do think this one here has some potential going forward because this is a limited print run and a very limited distribution. You can only buy this at the South Carolina Comic Con. A lot of these Bad Idea titles trading for well over face value in the secondary market. So we do think this one here is worth picking up the spec on. Next up from AWA Upshot, The Joneses Number 1. Following a global pandemic, a superpowered family known as the Reborns faced the moral dilemma of maintaining a low profile out of the sight of the fascist New World Order or using their powers for good. Now this one here, due to the social relevance of the storyline, we do think this here has great potential to be picked up for a small screen or big screen project. AWA Upshot has had some of their titles picked up for projects, so this one here I think is a great speculative bet. Pick it up if you can. If you can't, put it on your B-list. Take a look at it later. Next up from Image Comics, Lego Ninjango Garmandin number one. Far away from Ninjango City, a village is terrorized by a mysterious new threat when they're saved by an unlikely hero, Garmandin, Lord of Destruction. Now this one here we do think is probably worth picking up the spec on. A lot of these comics based on children's toy lines are not very heavily sold when they first come out. A lot of collectors do not pick these up and keep these nice. So later on, they're definitely highly sold after in high grade. So this one here we do think is probably worth picking up the spec on, but this is definitely going to be a speculative bet if you choose to get this one. In our opinion, it's probably worth picking up, but if you can't get them all, put it on your B list, take a look at it later. Next up from Aftershock Comics, The Ocean Will Take Us Number 1. When a boy tries out for the swim team, he learns firsthand that messing with the social order of his new high school can have deadly consequences. This one here sounds like it lends up very well to a small screen or big screen project, and Aftershock has had a lot of their titles picked up for feature films or streaming series TV shows. So this one here is definitely going to be a speculative bet if you choose to pick it up. But in our opinion, it's probably worth specking on. I know you can't get them all. If you can, go ahead and grab this one. If you can't, definitely put it on your B-list and take a look at it later. Next up from Behemoth Comics, Star Girl number 1. As enemy forces continue to threaten the integrity of the galaxy as a whole, a group known as the Moon Gang, formed by four general Stargirls from the moons of Jupiter, intercepts the enemy. Now once again, this sounds like it can lend itself very well to a small screen or big screen project, and Behemoth is getting a lot more attention on their titles. This is definitely going to be a speculative bet if you choose to pick it up, but this one here may be worth specking on for the cover price. You don't want to end up paying more for this later on. If you can pick this one up, do so for a speculative bet, but if you can't, put it in your B-list, take a look at it later. Next up from Vault Comics, West of Sundown number 1. A vampire must flee the monster slayers in New York City and reclaim the ancestral soil that restores her undead flesh. Now this sounds like it lends itself very well to a streaming series or feature film. This is a vampire story. Vampires, of course, fall in and out of favor in pop culture. So this is definitely going to be a speculative bet if you choose to pick this one up. We do think you probably have some time on this one. Put this one on your B-list, but take a look at it later on. Next up from Marvel Comics, Captain Marvel number 1 Annual. The solicitation references an intergalactic species that imprisoned Carol Danvers, known as the Karaskis. Now we definitely need a little bit more information on this title before we can recommend it. We really don't know much about the Karaskis. If this is a new species that Marvel is introducing into the Marvel Universe, this is definitely worth picking up. Also, if there's new specific characters from this Karaski species introduced in this particular issue, this is also one you want to consider picking up. We really need more information and confirmation on this. Since the title comes out a little later on today, we won't have confirmation on this till later. Do a little bit more research on this, but this is one we probably think you should pick up. And finally for Marvel Comics, Marauders number 1. This is the premier issue of the new Marauders title, and the solicitation references a new team, new villains, and new mysteries. Also in this issue, Cassandra Nova joins the Marauders. There's also the possible first cameo team appearance of the Ken Crimson, an intergalactic secret society mentioned in the solicitation of issue number 3. This one here definitely has some promise just with the fact that it is the premier issue of Marauders and there's a possible cameo team appearance. And since the solicitation references a new team and new villains, we do think this is definitely worth picking up. Now, we don't have any confirmation on this until we actually get the book in our hands later today. But in our opinion, this is probably worth picking up. Do a little bit more research on it, but this is probably one you want to add to your collection. So there you have the 16 titles that we have for you guys this week. Seven first appearances, nine honorable mentions, definitely some books in there you want to pick up for your collection. 
So feel free, drop some comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.